Hello dear subscribers and guests of this channel, my name is Rodion. Today I'm going to tell you about a new element for dashboards, it is called button. The new element allows you to run a script using a click or it depends on a checked change condition. To create a new button on a dashboard, you should go to the insert tab and select the button element. Next, place it on your dashboard. All options of the button to set are located on the properties tab. So, as you can see, this element doesn't have an editor. Firstly, the group contains main properties of the button and allows you to define some text of the button. You can set an icon for the button. In addition, you can define an icon for different states of the button. So, your icon of the button will be aligned at different button's regions. Besides, you can set alignment of your text on the button using the horizontal and vertical directions. The button can be of three types – button, checkbox or radio button. If the checkbox type is selected, you can define the checked state by default – false or true. If the radio button is selected, you can use the group property to combine multiple radio button into one control. The word wrap property defines either the text of the button would be wrapped or not. You can define shape of the button as rectangle or circle. And you should use the stretch property to define the mode of stretching the button by width or height. If the stretch X mode is selected, the button will be stretched only by width. If you want to stretch the button by both width and height, you should use the stretch XY mode. All appearance settings are located in the specific group. This group of properties contains common and specific settings. The common settings include border, you can set the size you want, brush, select a style in the brush property. Also, you can select a color in this property. I'll take yellow. Corner radius, in the corner radius property, you can set top left corner, top right, bottom right and bottom left corner. I have set 5. You can set any number. Font, icon brush, shadow and text brush. The specific settings include visual states. These settings define different options which will be applied depending on an action. You can set appearance settings if this button is checked or pressed at hover. For example, an icon will be changed on the hover cursor. Set icon brush properties to change the settings by the hover cursor. Also, you can set color here. By default, visual states are set from style settings. In the icon set property, in the icon point, you can select an icon you want to. You can create a style for the button. To do that, you should create a control style. Specify necessary settings of the style and assign the style to the button. 
This style is easy to use when you want to have a lot of buttons with similar appearance settings. So, go to the preview to show the button, and you can check out the result of your work. At first, you should add a component to your dashboard. For example, drag and drop a data source from the dictionary to your dashboard to create a table element. Next, you should create a script to enable or disable the table element by click. The button contains click and check change events. In this tutorial, you should use the click event. To run a script, the enabled property of the table element is used. Also, you should know name of this element. In addition, you should double click on the button to call the event editor. In this tutorial, I am creating a script using blocks. First of all, I will check a value of the enabled property. And if this property is set to true, I'm gonna set this property to false. Else, this property to set to true. Click OK button in the event editor and click the preview to show your dashboard. Now, the table element is enabled or disabled when you click the button. You can find this sample in our online report storage. Primarily, you should change styles of the dashboard elements having clicked on it. Also, you can change different settings of the dashboard elements, for example, for color of element titles. You can enable or disable rounding of dashboard elements. You can manage transparency. Enable or disable shadow of the dashboard elements. Also, you can enable watermark, having clicked on it if you want to. And you can hide all dashboard elements. These aren't all the features which you can control, having clicked on the button. So, you can find this sample in our online report storage. Click the preview to show your dashboard. Click the button to filter your data sources. The algorithm of data filtering consists of when you click the button, uh, some value will be set to the report variable, which is used in the filter of a data source. In the same way, you can filter an SQL query. You can find this sample in our online report storage. Please note that in this sample the radio button is used to combine into the one control. So, click the preview to show your dashboard. Click the button to filter data of the dashboard elements.
The algorithm of data filtering is similar to the previous sample, but the difference is that the report variable is not used in the query, it is used in the filter for each element on the dashboard. Thanks for watching! Follow the news on our social networks and subscribe to the video channel. If you still have any questions, leave your comments below or send us a request to support at Have a good one, all the best to you!